Hello guys. So this is my long anticipated uh, super sized diesel excavator. And uh, sad to say that it got damaged during the shipping. So finally I got some parts arrived. And uh, let's see if uh, you know the box is all torn up and hopefully the parts are you know good to go. But uh, let's take a look. So it was just the handles that I had to replace. Uh, it wasn't too bad. So everything's ready to go. And I actually had a chance to do some digging in a real uh, job situation. And I'm going to show you in a little bit. So this is my long anticipated. I'm excited to get this one. But I had to say that I am disappointed um, in the way how it's made um, in some little parts. But given this is a prototype number two, and so the prototype number one did not even make it to here because when it was done and the factory sent me videos and we closely look at it, um, I, I just don't think it's marketable. I don't think it's done well. So we actually had to take it apart and this is number two, uh, prototype number two. So it actually works pretty well uh, given its, its, uh, its way it's made, but there are several things that still need to get corrected and uh, hopefully the prototype number the prototype number three will be it. Um, my goal is really to have the diesel model uh, set up this way and uh, just because it's a much more expensive engine and much more capable in power so it should be fitted in a bigger um, bigger machine. Okay so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take you around and look at the things um, what I like and what I don't and uh, we'll go from there diesel Kubota D722 engine and this is the same engine that we use on our diesel uh, excavators and this machine has a lot more power so me and the uh, manufacturer we both decide to uh, make a bigger machine with a joystick control so that operational will be much better uh, more superior and also is capable of doing that and in this model you see the bigger size of the radiator that serve as the engine cooling and also the hydraulic fluid cooling. And on the undercarriage, it's a longer track with three rollers as compared to the smaller, uh, shorter uh, tracks for the uh, regular diesel and uh, gasoline model. Uh, but basically, it's the same drive motor in the back, so speed-wise is the same um, as compared to the other models. As always, all the travel motor has this uh, balance valve here, a counterbalance or balance valve. And uh, basically what it does is it limits um, the, the potential of the excavator uh, losing control when it's going you know, up or downhill. Same thing that all of our excavators come standard with a boom swing. So with this excavator, the digging arm is actually a little longer, so it has a deeper reach. A uh, deeper reach with the, you know more power uh, when you do your digging operation. All the uh, landscape buddy comes with a hydraulic thumb that's already installed and a quick change that's also installed and also three buckets. A one digging bucket, one narrow digging bucket, and a one flat scraping bucket. Also on the right side we have uh, aluminum diesel tank and a aluminum um, hydraulic fuel tank and these are pretty good size so it increase the operation time and also uh, increase the stability of hydraulic fluid when it's on the uh, hillsides or um, slope operations here is a general look of the pilot controls so we have the pilot control here and this is underneath just the pilot control which is smaller tubes that sends um, hydraulic fluids to to the actuator that opens the uh, spools so that will um, in terms activate the uh, digging operations and um, it's just much smoother operation this is the air intake basically a filter pre-filter and then another filter before the air into the engine so it's a very well set up so in the video that you see I'm operating to dig holes for planting trees and 
you can see my hand movement is really just limited to my wrist and I'm able to do diggings and it's very smooth operation. So if you are going with the diesel model, this is definitely something that I would consider going with because the overall cost uh, does not differ by that much uh, and yet the operational, uh, the, the control, the overall it just feels much better. So now what I'm going to talk about my disappointments. So here's the um, disappointment number one. I have worked with the manufacturer to incorporate the foot control for the boom swing and the auxiliary. And in this model, I would expect the same. Somehow, they only put one foot control. And so this foot control is actually has a shear function, a boom swing and the hydraulic thumb which I think is um, not very smart to do that just because oftentimes I would need to do a boom swing and hydraulic thumb op operation at the same time so I need both and when I took out the cover I exactly know why and what the uh, manufacturers will tell me because the hose kind of run through it and so he basically left out this control and when I talked to the um, to the engineer and he was like well yeah because at first it was designed that way but the hose was kind of in the way so i eliminate you know and i'm like uh yeah you gotta tell me before you do that kind of stuff so anyway that's disappointment number one and the disappointment number two is right here this is my disappointment number two um so from the video when he showed me i wasn't able to tell and i didn't ask for a close um video and this is the travel control and travel control is not done by the uh, uh, pilot controls it's just the mechan mechanical linkage and so it has a linkage and then an another linkage and then connect to the actuator of the hydraulic spool and every time you have a linkage you have some kind of play and so this is kind of bothering uh, needless to say I mean it works but it's just bothering and this is the, one of those things in my other video I said, you know, low or no quality control. Um, if I would have made a trip to China, I would be like, no, let's change it, you know, before we send this machine to, to, the, to the U.S. Because I know I have a hard time. I, won't, I wouldn't have a hard time selling it, but I would have a hard time convincing myself to say, yeah, this is a, you know, a great machine to, to buy. Um, again, it gets the work done over time these linkage would just, would just have more play to it and uh you know loose uh operation feel like this um over time it, it just kind of bothers them and disappointment number three is in the engine compartment i did not see the radiator fluid reservoir and this is kind of dumb um you have a radiator water cool and when engine heats up some some you know, radiated fluid will come out and it needs to go into a reservoir. When it cools down, it will get sucked back in, which it does not have. So that means water, you know, the, the radiator fluid will leak to a sort of an equilibrium, I would call it, at a certain temperature. And if you operate next time at a hotter temperature, more fluid will come out. So that means, the, you know, less fluid will be in the radiator. And I just don't think from a maintenance perspective, it, it it's it's right okay so anyway it's not right so what I'll need to do is um, get a radiator reservoir find a place weld it weld a bracket to it and then connect to it which will solve this problem but this should not be our job um, the factory should have done it and this is the thing they did it for my other units and why did he not do this unit I just have no idea when I climb up here, this is a very nice control panel. And it turns on, lights up, but then it doesn't have a engine preheat. So, you, so normally for a diesel machine, we can turn the key to the left and it will preheat the, um, the glow plug. And I have that in my regular diesel engine model, but it's not here and it's just very bothering okay this is another thing does it work yeah but is it good probably not and on the gauge right here 
when I turn on, there is clearly a glow plug um, sign or a glow plug light. You can see it. Okay, so that means this gauge is capable of displaying that, but somehow it's not connected. And the uh, glow plug is, you know, comes standard with the Kubota. So it's just a matter of connecting wires. And again, the manufacturer should have done that, not us as a consumer. Have that basic safety right there. And we do have a lock button. Okay. So this button, this lock button here is done in a funny way too. Right now is unlock, so it doesn't let you start, which is good. Unless you lock it and you can start. Okay, so once you start and it's in the lock button, the hydraulic control doesn't work. But let's take a look. No movement. Now I can movement. Okay, so technically I hit the lock button, nothing should move. But I can move the tractor. And and the reason is mechanical control because this is directly connected to the actuator of the spool. Which I think is kind of dumb because when I press the lock button, I want everything to be locked, hydraulically speaking. And so you can't just, you know, something will move and not others. What if I lock the machine, I want to get out, and my foot ac accidentally press or push the uh, traveling uh, control and the tractor will, you know, move. So it doesn't work that way, you know? So, so again, this kind of go back to that, you know, questionable quality. If you're just ordering one unit and uh, you talk to the manufacturer, certain ways, you, how you want to do it, and um, you thought they got it, but you got a machine and that looked like this, and you're going to be pissed. So I kind of have that expectation. So in all, I'm not all that upset about it. But there are something that I think is just very common, um, you know, common sense. But yet, um, I don't, I, you, you can't really expect that um, when you're ordering it, just one individual unit from the factory, uh, especially if you're going through a sales. It's better to just order or take whatever they offer because it's already there um, and you, you don't get that much of a disappointment, okay? So in all, I think this machine oh i gotta make mention of another thing so in this model because i do rent out the machines to you know friends uh whoever does the uh, plumbing or concrete trays uh some of my subcontractors they do rent machine for me so because we have different uh, operation preference backhoe or excavator uh patterns so i do want to have a pattern switch so i do have a built-in pattern switch right here so when the machine is at a pattern switch certain way, it's uh, backhoe control, and then the other way is excavator control. So which is good. So that, that is one thing that I think is well done. Um, but in all, I think there are just a few more improvements. So once those improvements are done, I think this will be a very good value to, uh, to have you guys um, you know, purchase. And you can just buy it directly from the manufacturer because um, uh, the machine is slightly larger, shipping is slightly more, uh, everything costs more, but if you're willing to import yourself, um, you can get a pretty good deal for a joystick control um, machine. And so this machine is designed uh, just a shy of four feet wide. So it will still fit in the back of a pickup like that. So if you got an F250, uh, four F250, you can still carry around in the back of the pickup just put a loading ramp and you can do it I did it last time already and so for mobility it's definitely great and for actual work it's also very good um, with about four feet wide it still gets to the backyard you may have to take out the uh, gate or one fence post but you can move into the backyard easily and so if you would like to get one you can visit my other video and I have a complete price, uh, the contract I signed with the manufacturer, the shipping cost, custom, everything. I'm gonna just put it on there so you will have some you you you'll have a good expectation of what you you will be paying and uh, what you will be getting. So overall I think this is a great machine. 
some disappointments, but it's not a deal killer. Uh, what I might do is I'm gonna just use it for jobs, um, rent it a few times, and then just sell it as a used equipment um, to try to recover my, uh, my my costs. So then I would have money to go on and buy the uh, prototype number three. So there you have it. This is my long anticipated uh, super sized landscape buddy tractor with the uh, Kubota diesel engine. Um, you know, overall a few disappointments, but still a good machine. I can, you know, sell it as is. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down below. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe and like button, and I will see you next time.